Thank you. Thank you, uh, Master of Ceremony MC Aipa. Thank you, uh, Dr. Salasia. I also like your speech. Very entertaining. Saya uh, belajar juga. I, I, I learn. Yeah. Uh, um, welcome also. Thank you also, Dr. Hisham, uh, my dean, Dr. Shamsul, and the rest of the uh, guests in this uh, website, in this link. Um, uh, back to what Dr. Salasia said just now about education. You never stop learning, yeah? Kita takkan berhenti belajar sampai ke liang lahat, yeah? uh, Everything else can go wrong, but education can never go wrong, yeah? Always remember. <clears throat> now, let me just briefly, uh, probably I would like to share um, uh, my experience of how to achieve success, yeah? Bagi saya, I'm still not... Um, not very successful because I never set my limit. I never have a benchmark. Vertical of Aida Chapai is a two benchmark. There is an, another benchmark. You can always do better tomorrow than what you did today. So um, that is um, uh, where I, I, life is a learning process. Yeah. And um, again, thank you. Uh, Zach MW, Zai Music World, and UUM for inviting me uh, for this session. Um, uh, they are do, doing a, 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 a virtuous things, mengajar, uh, mendidik, uh, akhlak. Uh, I mean, uh, music education, even even in music, music akhlak, you seldom find uh, composers, musicians, pergi merompak, this and that. The basically, discipline, it involves um, it is the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain, and I think probably I can explain a little bit. But in my interpretation, of course, the left side, which is the uh, the linear side, is akal, and the right side of the brain is, for me, lah, for in my hypothesis, is ati. Yeah, um, it it is connected because the right side of the brain is connected to the left side of the body. Jadi hati, <laughs> and then um, the left side of the brain uh, controls the right side of the body. Now, uh, success. Um, to some of you, maybe you you might you can say that I am successful, but as I've said just now, I'm still learning. And for me, success has several factors. Uh, it comprises of eight points: um, work, you know, improve, focus, passion. Pushing yourselves, um, you serve the, the people, you serve the nation, you serve the students, you serve the country, and then ideas and assistance. Yeah. So all these factors uh, are components of success. Uh, work. Uh, number one is work. Work um, ambition, as what uh, Dr. Salasia said just now. Uh, goal and ambition. Yes. My ambition. Dulu masa sekolah rendah. I wanted to be, of course, a teacher, not jadi cikgu, because at that time, cikgu, wow, best jadi cikgu, ya. Yeah? Students format, selamat pagi, cikgu, so no, you know. And then, um, later stage, uh, secondary school, sekolah menengah, saya bercita-cita nak jadi um, uh, composer, yeah? nak jadi composer. And then, um, after, after sekolah menengah, I did my pre-university, uh, A-levels, I wanted to. I took A levels law. I wanted to be a judge. Yeah. Saya saya ambil A levels law, tetapi um, saya tak habiskan sebab my I was torn between two lovers. I was torn between law and music. So um, nak jadi composer, nak jadi cikgu, nak jadi composer, nak jadi judge. You know, eventually nak jadi judge. But uh, I was at the same time I was offered a music course in Jakarta. Uh, so. Di situ, saya mengguna the left and side, the left side and right side of my brain. I say analyze and um, ramai kawan-kawan sekolah, even my literature teacher, even orang saya tak kenal when I do my performance, uh, uh, composite, my own composition, dia orang puji. Lebih daripada 44 orang puji. You, 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 uh, you can compose at a very young age. You know, um, if you listen to lagu Liza Hanim, uh, Andainya aku bersuara. That was uh, it was recorded. I think about maybe fifteen years ago, when I was in my 40, 40 years old. But um, I composed that song when I was fourteen years old. When I was in form two, 
Jadi I kept the song for so long and then finally I gave it to Liza Hani. Uh, it won an award in in China. Andainya ku bersu, andai aku, andainya ku bersuara. So basically, I was torn, and then I opted to uh, to go to Indonesia to study music because uh, it is more of internship um, understudy program. I was selected when I went there to to do keyboard sessions for uh, the band Sweet Charity New Basis. He was producing a band, a new band, and I was there to to do the keyboard session and piano sessions. Uh, and then I, I was offered. So I went back to see my father. Um, I said, I want to quit law. You know, so they mengamuk lah, they marah arwah mak yang pujuk. Bagilah dia merantau. You know, so I went to Indonesia for two and a half years. You see, I'm the opposite, you see. Uh, saya industrialist dulu, baru saya go to academics. So when I was in Indonesia, of course, I, I studied uh, programming, music. At that time, um, it wasn't the latest digitals. It was just the MC50, but still very advanced. You know, um, and then I came back. I came to Kuala Lumpur and uh, I started writing songs for TV dramas. So basically work, you have to decide. You have to know apa, what is your strength? Uh, what is your strength? Dulu susah tak macam sekarang. Sekarang you masuk YouTube. Huh? You can be famous if you're lucky. There are, there, are, there, are, there are the element of luck. But during my days, you pergi record company, kaset kena baling balik dekat you. I don't know who you are. Siapa you? Saya Azhar. Aku tak kenal. Kau jangan berani pijak ofis aku. Get out. You know, kena tengking. You know, kena halau. Nak jaja jual lagu ni. So I just did songs for drama, documentaries, and, all. and then uh, I told myself, okay, macam mana? Uh, itu yang bila I, I use the left side of the brain, you know? How do I, how do I uh, solve this? How do I make people know me? Macam Dr. Salah saya cakap tadi, highlight yourself, make yourself known. How do I make myself known? How do I highlight myself? I have to sing. I don't like to sing. Saya tak mahu jadi penyanyi. But I had to because I can duet dengan Wan, duet dengan Amy Mastura dulu. You, you, you dengar lah harapan semalam lah lagu. I don't even like to hear my own voice. But I had to sing. You know, so I sang a few, uh, I had one or two albums. And, tapi, and then people know me. You know, tukar nama Azmi, record company. Say, Azra is a common name. You know, you tukar Azmi, Azmi ada dua E, dia ada ong, double, dia ada alphabet, dia macam Salim, I-S-A-L-E-E-M, one W-A-N-N. The Chinese believe that double alphabets bawa ong. I say, okay lah, whatever. So, tukar nama Azmi. That was how I got my name, Azmi. And um, I, after I, I, I sang, so the record company mula kenal, and then baru saya boleh perdengarkan lagu saya. You know, but it was tough in those days. But I decided what I want, I want to do. So, I opted and I chose uh, music instead of being a judge, yeah? Uh, so I, I went into composition. I started with uh, artist macam scenario, you know, all the scenario lagu-lagu kelakar tu semua. My work lah kan. And then Jalil Hamid lah. Lagu bodoh je, lagu ayam, you know. But sold, you know, sold 200,000 copies of CD, you know. Uh, tapi lagu-lagu bodoh, tapi ada message. You know? And then um, scenario pun lagu-lagu message. But I started all that. So, um, Things got better, and then I had chance to compose for Liza Hanim, setelah Azmi lah, and then Siti Nohal Liza, Zainal Zain, Misha Omar, Fik, and all lah, until sampai lah sekarang. Uh, Alhamdulillah. But what I'm trying to say is, you have to know your strength. Uh, if you know Jamal Abdillah sings better than you, don't try to lawan Jamal Abdillah. If you know, you know, at that time, penyanyi-penyanyi, Ellie Katz, sound better than you don't try to sing. So, I'm good at composition. You know, I know Jamal Abdillah tak boleh lawan aku kalau composition. So, I know my strength. I compose and uh, I became successful because I made the right choice. So, you have to make the right choice. That is your heart. It's too hearty. You have to link it with the right side of the brain. So, you what? And then, uh, another formula of success is, of course, improve. As I say, jangan jangan ada bench. Saya tak pernah ada benchmark. Orang kata, Nama Merindu is my best song. I said, no. 
mesti ada lagu. Then came after that, you know, Ustaz ditambah bara tersimpan langit ketuju, tiga malam tanpa bintang. So, the songs went on. And then sampai um, I won multiple awards. I'm not, I'm not um, uh, magnifying my success to to boast and eh, untuk riak and eh, tak ada. Tapi for students to dapat motivasi. Eh, bukan saya nak cakap lagu saya banyak hit, tak ada, tak ada. You know, there are a lot of other composers who has to, who has yang, yang have more, more hit songs than me. You know, um, but um, saya, saya decide that, okay, dah sampai ceiling dah. There is no CEO for composer. There is no uh, where, apa lagi saya nak grow. And how do I serve back? How do I give back to the nation, to the students? So I further study. I, I studied in USM. Um, I took music, performance and pedagogy. Pedagogy is teaching methods. Huh? So um, I, I we're talking about improvement. You have, you have to, saya tak pernah berpuas hati for my compositions. I will listen and listen. The introduction of, for example, Purnama Merindu lah, memang most successful song lah. Uh, uh, highest selling, you know. The intro alone, the intro alone took me four hours to do a 20 second intro. The verse, another six to eight hours. Music arrangement lah. Even the melody took days, you know, did there and all. So, always try to improve, always uh, never be contented. And then ask your friends, yang mana you boleh percaya yang tak akan plagiat and copy your songs, yang bukan. Uh, because the layman are the people who's going to buy your songs, you know. Uh, always ask your, your adik-beradik, your saudara-mara. Now I ask my wife and children, you know, they give me a lot of ideas. And then of course, focus the other factor of success is focus. You have to focus. Jangan angat-angat teh ayam. You know, jangan buat kerja yang angat teh ayam. Kita buat satu, wah, kita nak buat projek ni, kita nak buat ni, kita nak buat lagu ni. Lepas tu buat, then you do other things. Something else came, oh, benda lain datang, you 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 tak focus, you know. And then you must focus. You must uh, aim high, of course. Focus, spend the number of hours, do your creative work so much so um, it is not for Malaysia. It is for Grammy Awards, and then baru you boleh excel. So baru you boleh menang look, I mean local awards. Kalau you aim high, if you aim for for just normal awards, you aim one hundred percent. You might get eighty percent. So you aim one hundred eighty percent. Net shot, you will get ninety five above. You think that is what I believe. That's why I do. What uh, sesuatu tu? Of course, with passion, the next point for success is passion. Passion is, um, kita, kita suka. Kalau kita suka apa kita buat, number of hours tak. You know, um, my children kadang-kadang tengok, pukul 10 pagi saya start buat lagu, sampai pukul 10 pagi esok. Dia orang balik sekolah, saya masih buat lagu. They want to do malam, saya masih buat lagu. You know, I just kiss them. And then, sampai 10, 24 hours. Dia orang kata, bila Baba tidur? Kata, you know, from the moment kita pergi sekolah, pukul 7 pagi. Sorry, 7 pagi I started. Sampai pukul 10 pagi esok. And then after that, I'll sleep for 12 hours. You know, because that is passion. Saya dah, dah, dah in that zone. Eh? Dah engrossed, dah preoccupied in that, that zone. I will, I will do that. Push yourself. Melainkan dah, dah, dah saturated, then kita stop. You know, but selagi kita ada, push yourself. But don't be pushy to others. You just push yourself. Alright? If pushing is, push is one one formula of success juga. And then of course, serve the, the sebaik-baik manusia, manusia yang berguna kepada manusia lain. So, fine, I write songs to make people, orang yang sakit dengar lagu saya, tenang, you know, so, Dapatlah juga pahala tu. But ilmu yang ada, how do I share? That is why I'm, I'm now serving the, the students, I'm serving the country, the, 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 the young aspiring uh, musicians, composers, those who want to be composers and all. But, but know what you want to do. Identify your strength. Again, I repeat. 
All right, and then of course ideas, ideas uh, from the right side of the brain. Kalau kita basically kita cerita banyak masa brain ni, kita tahu the left side of the brain thinking in words, sequencing, linear thinking, mathematics, facts, logic. But the right side of the yes, sebelah kanan ni is about feeling, visualization, imagination, intuition. Eh? Intuition kita punya uh, sense kita punya perasaan. Eh? It's like profiling. You see someone, you, you do profiling, you tengok orang tu, tahu orang ni. You know, it's intuition. Gerak hati. You know, and then the rhythm uh, is is you know, rhythm is the heartbeat. Eh? To, to, bila saya nak tidur kadang-kadang kita boleh dengar hadbit tu kena Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar I would just sampai tertidur you know um, and then holistic thinking lah uh, 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 pemikiran yang menyeluruh you know of course arts also is the right uh, right side of the brain jadi uh, use utilize ideas uh, uh, idea ni ilham ni dia tak ada dia tak ada batas. Dia macam air sungai. Tak ada batas. Flow. You know? Sentiasa ada. And that you must be persistent. Um, one more practice. Persistent kita kena kena follow up. Jangan contented. And jangan kita dah hantar. Kita dah buat sesuatu. Lepas tu you just forget about it. You just uh, tak nak follow up and you know. following up is is important macam mana uh, i'm professional kalau tak suka lagu saya tak apa uh, saya boleh bagi kat penyanyi lain jangan saya tak akan marah you know all all these uh, are, are the the factors involving um, that that i practice lah yang yang of course i think contributed to my my small degree of success yang saya buat ni yeah. Um, and then most importantly is be a likable person. Jadi orang yang kalau kita drama, kita tengok drama, kita tengok satu watak baik, eh, suka kita tengok watak. Tapi kita tengok satu watak jahat. Nampak kata benci aku dia ni. You know? So padahal orang tu berlakon. So choose who you want to be. Tetapi bila situation comes, dekat office, bergaduh, you know, kita pun jawab, ada aku kisah. You know? So The words like this, uh, kadang-kadang um, choose the words. You know, mulut kita ni this involves career. Jadi bekerja kadang-kadang kita stress. Mulut kita ni macam trigger lah. So pistol dah ada, hati dah cakap dah. Okay, aku dah bengang dia ni. Kau aja masih nak kena dengan aku. Hati dah cakap macam tu. And then um, the pistol and the bullet dah ada. So mulut ni trigger. Whether you want to fire the person or you just don't want to pull the trigger and put the gun down. So jaga. Kadang-kadang kita marah orang tu tetapi kita jangan always sentiasa berfikir baik. Be a likable person. That is another formula of success, you know. Um, jangan jangan kita kita create trouble because this is a small world. Music is a small world. Orang yang suka ni budak-budak anak-anak kita nanti some of you yang ada anak-anak yang minat music, you know. Music is, is is a small world. You will see one another often. So jangan jangan bergaduh, jangan uh, you know uh, have this this uh, apa dia panggil um, friction with with anyone. Basically, what I practice is besides of course, you see empat empat macam tadi dah selesai lima empat ya pam kan empat juga ya. Practice part juga, tetapi uh, dari sudut agama, of course kita kena tahu uh, macam sunnah Nabi, of course, tapi uh, sifat-sifat Nabi, you know, sidik berkata benar, eh? kita always tell the truth, amanah kita kena amanah, eh? amanah kita dipertanggungjawabkan untuk mengajar, mengajar, dipertanggungjawabkan untuk buat lagu, buat lagu, you know, tablik menyampaikan, what we are doing now is tablik actually, you know, tablik is not Tablik yang kita nama group tablik. No, tablik is menyampaikan what Dr. Salasya is doing now, what I'm doing now is tablik. Sifat Nabi, kita menyampaikan apa yang elok. You know? And then Fatana. Fatana is very interesting. Fatana is kebijaksanaan. You know? Bijaksana. Dan bila kata bijaksana tu, bijaksana bukan sini. Kalau sini bijak, bijak sini. So bijaksana always be humble. 
Yes, you are smart. You are intelligent. Smart on the right side of the brain, my hypothesis. Huh? Then intelligent, left side of the brain, macam apa yang saya say, explain tadi. But still, if you have both, you kena bijaksana. bijaksana. So I'm, I'm looking, showing you all. Bukan bijak sini. Sebab tu orang tutup. Bijaksana. So jangan kita sombong, riak, takbur. You know, yang bijak tu sana. Uh, intelligence and smart, as I said just now, involve the right side. Music, saya memang use the right side of my my brain. Of course, the artistic side of the brain. Orang kata, betul doktor, salah saya, I think the artistic side is on the right side of the brain. The hem, the hemisphere, eh? sebelah kanan. So, music, composition, apa semua saya guna kanan. Tetapi, academically, saya belajar, saya sambung belajar, saya, that is my left side of the brain. You know, I was thinking, daripada dulu, aku, aku, when I started to use the left side of the brain, I was thinking, aku, um, Aku jadi hamba seni. Kalau aku tidak uh, buat lagu, anak-anak aku tak makan lah bulan ni kalau tak, ada, tak buat lagu. So, I use my left side of the brain. Macam mana aku nak ada um, fixed income, which is the uh, active income and the passive income. Passive income, of course, come from compositions, my royalties and so on. But I have to have an active income. So, sama juga dengan niat nak serve the nation, to teach uh, children or uh, to teach students uh, music, curah ilmu, bagi give back. Uh, that was when I, I killed two birds with one stone, lah, um, mengajar dan juga dapat fixed income every month. Because I analyze why Beethoven, Mozart, Chopin in the 17th, 18th century, they were successful. Because I was, I was wondering, yes, I belajar Chopin music when I did music studies in USM. Kenapa they are so successful? Uh, they can write masterpiece, you know, because they want the gaji bulan. They work in in, the, in churches, in in the courts, you know, they work choir. So they compose vocal composition for choir. Dulu tak ada microphone, so it, they have to sing choirs. Yeah? So, so, bulan-bulan dapat gaji. So, um, okay. Now, bulan-bulan aku nak dapat gaji. I become a lecturer. I, I, I lecture lah. I, I did my my studies and I became a lecturer uh, until today. Lepas tu saya, saya, saya tak banyak buat lagu. Don't try to be uh, a hero. Kita buat ni tu, kita nak buat lagu, kita nak buat arrangement, kita nak buat everything you want to do. You become jack of all trades, you're master of none. Jadi, uh, jangan. So, I, I do composition. A little bit of music arrangement, tetapi lyrics pun saya tak buat kadang-kadang saya beri Hapsah Hassan, Arwah Lolo, Lokman S, you know. Kalau saya punya own lyrics, macam Langit Ketujuh, my own lyrics. Tapi yang mana saya tulis tak bagus, saya buang. And then, from the start, I don't have an, I don't have idea. So, you know, do, you, you share the cake. Yeah. And then, um, as, I, as I was saying, I, I sekarang, dulu saya jadi hamba seni kan. Sekarang seni jadi hamba saya. So kalau penyanyi minta lagu, siapa-siapa minta lagu, uh, recording company is called, I said, um, saya dapat ilham bagus, saya, saya saya bekerja, saya mengajar. Jadi bila saya free weekends, uh, saya, saya amanah saya. Jadi weekdays, penat kalau saya dah bekerja, saya dah start thinking about work, nak buat lagu, penat. So weekend saya free, saya buat. So it takes time. Ada penyanyi tunggu sampai setahun, kesian. Ya. Dr. Fitri Haris tunggu setahun lebih. Baru saya bagi dia three weeks back. One year over, he waited. Kesian dia. Alright, but um, uh, probably to sum up, uh, uh, I would like to 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 say um, sekarang seni jadi hamba saya. Uh, I control my kerja seni. Kerja seni tak kontrol saya, saya tak jadi hamba seni dah. And that is uh, why you have to use both sides of your brain. Not only music, you have to know your direction, your strength. Saya ulang balik perkataan pertama tadi, your strength. Di mana kekuatan anda? Is it in music arrangement? Music arrangement lain, composition lain. Music arrangement, 
ada uh, pintang-pintang muzik dia punya gitar nak masuk mana, keyboard nak masuk mana and so on and so on. Composition I can just compose now. Da, 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 da. You know that is composition. I record, I sing, and then baru masuk lyrics, lyrics lain. So music arrangement adalah gubahan lagu. Uh, music composition adalah ciptaan lagu. Uh, so you you must know the, the several factors apa komponen-komponen yang membuat suatu lagu itu mungkin lain kali kita akan cerita but know the direction you know no if you're good in music arrangement you're not good in melody making jangan jadi composer jadi arranger you 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 fit well you know uh, if you're good in words uh, linguistics write lyrics explore try writing ada some points my wife bagi satu cerita very interesting point tapi macam biasa cik ai pun master of ceremony kita because she's a master uh, so saya kena uh, cut but, but so very, actually it's a very interesting story uh, you see i have five fingers on my right hand i only have three fingers on my left hand but i can play the piano like a person who has 12 fingers jadi <laughs> cerita dia pasal saya pergi ke nak belajar piano dulu you know saya dia kata no 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 you're a handicap you cannot play the piano okay i went back it was in my secondary school i went back i start i learn i self taught the piano for one year i played richard pledeman punya lagu belajar sendiri after one year i went back to yamaha kedai itu the person is still there i say you remember me saya tunjuk tangan saya oh yeah yeah Yes, I remember you, Dekata. You cannot play the piano. I cannot teach you how to... No, no, no. I'm not here to ask you to teach me to play the piano. I'm here to ask you to listen how I play the piano. I play the piano. You say, you tengah ngah. You know? I say, yeah. yeah, but I still cannot teach you, Dekata, because you play your own style. You, know, you make your own style of playing. So, kalau you dengar lagu-lagu saya yang di radio tu, piano part saya main sendiri, If there's a will, there's a way. So, um, I think probably in another session, uh, jika ada rezeki panjang umur, insya Allah kita boleh uh, share experiences lagi because time pun tak cukup, tetapi tak apa. Um, banyak lagi yang kita boleh share in the near future, insya Allah kalau saya free. Uh, probably uh, Zack and W boleh ulang, uh, undang kami sekali lagi. Uh, thank you to all. Uh, probably Q&A now. Thank you very much. Kalau tersilap salah apa yang saya cakap tadi, saya minta maaf. Thank you.